How's everyone doing? Zero here. And for today's video, I want to talk about how much Incinera has been buffed in Smash Ultimate. With the recent patch 2.0, there's been a lot of changes throughout a lot of characters. And in fact, if you check out my patch video, I mentioned how every character has been changed. But I wasn't able to go too much into detail since obviously it was the first day of the patch. And I just can't tell everything right from the beginning. Just from reading, you know, the little notes and very little detail that the Nintendo website offer in their patch uh, update. Now, I wanted to dive a little bit further into Incinera. Simply because he received a, some very specific buffs that uh, actually were into his problematic areas. As we, as we all already know, and Sinner has one of the worst recoveries um, in Smash Ultimate due to the predictability that it has, the distance it covers, and just how vulnerable he is um, off the level. It's very common for Sinner to get knocked off once off the level and just generally just die. So that for a long time, a lot of people thought that uh, that will pretty much mean that the cat is low tier and not very viable in tournaments or competitive matches or pretty much any kind of serious play now the just to give you a reminder the patch notes that they did the things that they buffed were his up smash his down air his up throw in terms of how powerful it is but more importantly i think the best buff that he got is his up special in which they extended the vertical and horizontal distance now if you actually notice that his recovery it's actually a significant increase um it's not so much so that like it, it will make instantly his recovery better, but now he has so many more mix-ups because now he can actually recover from distances that before were not really possible. Like, for example, that angle that I just did was completely not possible in the previous patch. Now, even then, I was almost able to make it all the way to the side. This means that Incinera is going to be harder to edge guard. But I do want to warn you, though, that even though Incinera has a better recovery now, it's slightly better, I will say, not better. Um, Incinera's recovery is still very, very vulnerable. This means that if you send uh, Incinera in a horizontal angles, like for example, all the way over here, and he has this, uh, a B, then he's going to die. But this gives him more mix-ups because now every time he's in trouble, not only can he up B and side B, but the distance that it travels sideways is a lot better now. Uh, because it goes higher up and higher to the side, it means that it just makes... It just pretty much optimizes the distance that he can travel significantly. I still think that this, this is not going to make his recovery go from terrible to amazing. It's not like we're talking like an inkling recovery or a recovery that's super flexible like Mars and Lucina. But this is definitely a step in the right direction for what Incinera needed to improve. And I think this is at least going to make... I don't know. I think it's like a 20% increase. What I mean with 20% is just to me, I feel like... I feel like it's it's like a slight increase in, the, in his terms of reco his recovery. It's not like it's two times better or something like that. It's like a, it's a small bit, if that makes sense. Now, in terms of recovery, that's a big buff. Now, in terms of uh, up throw, up throw is actually a a kill option now. So you don't you're not just um, locked away to going for back throw to get kills. Now you can actually go for up throw. Um, that actually almost killed. There you go. So this is important because uh, Incinera's back throw is absolutely ridiculous and it's one of his strongest uh, kill options that he has. But the problem with back throw is that you always need to be close to the ledge um, to get this kill option. And Incinera is very bad at the ledges because whenever he's at the ledges, generally what this means is that you're one hit away from getting knocked off the level and died. So the fact that they looked at his kid and they said, hmm, we can actually improve this character tenfold by giving him a throw that can kill anywhere from the station. So up throw is weaker than back throw in terms of how powerful these options uh, these options are. Like up back throw is still stronger than up throw, but the difference is that up throw can kill from anywhere on the stage. You, have, you can be in the middle, you can be in the corners, you can be almost in the middle, you can be on top of platforms, which will only mean you killed earlier. And so the, the, this rewards Incinera in a lot more ways because he doesn't, he no longer has to fish for corner uh, grabs when he needs to kill desperately with a grab. Now you can simply just get a grab on a platform or in the middle of a stage. And this actually opens up the kill options that Incinera has tremendously. So the fact that they improved his recovery and they gave him one more kill option is actually a big deal. Uh, in terms of his other moves, they made up smash stronger as well. Because Incinera's up smash, all of, Incinera in general is very powerful. He does a lot of damage and he has a lot of knockback. For example, his four smash is one of the most ridiculous four smashes in the whole game. I mean, just, just look how much damage it does, and it can kill people like a 50 or 60. It's ridiculous. But his up smash was always... It, it seemed disappointingly weak, uh, because this up smash wasn't too easy to land, and it had good range, and it did good amount of damage. But it was it was too weak with what it offers, so you very rarely used it. 
But now they buffed the strength. So now I'm kind of curious to see how much stronger it is than before. 98%. That's not bad. I think I think that's pretty good. Sub 100%. That's really good. But keep in mind, though, it's on top of a platform. So we do need to see this, let's say, 100% on the middle of a stage. That almost kills. But if we have Rage later on, like, let's say, as soon as I get a higher percent, that is definitely going to kill. Um, let me just make sure this is not stale real quick. 110. That's a very solid option. It's it's not fucked up smash, but it's it's better. It's it's significantly better than it was because this move used to be actually surprisingly weak for what it really offered. Um, so this means that Incinerator has another kill option where like if you mess up with his shield in front of him, you can just up smash at the shield. Or this is because in Smash Ultimate, uh, defensive options are a lot weaker. But the main reason is that dropping your shield and then going for an attack is much slower. So you actually just don't get to punish a lot of things if you have to drop your shield. But if you can jump from your shield, which is faster, aka jump uh, jump up smash at a shield, because this is uh, jump cancel up smash, um, this means that this option is actually a viable kill option. So if someone messes up on your shield, and Serenata has the option to up smash at a shield to get those kills. So now you have both the up throw, giving you the opportunity to kill anywhere on the map, uh, boosted by platforms, which now you can, I guess, you can counterpick as platform stages now. And then you also have an up smash at a shield. So this means that you have two more options to kill. Uh, the other two changes that they added for Incinerar, where he's upper, they shorten the amount of time that you can grab uh, after using the move. So for example, pr pretty much this is what it, this is what they mean. Like use upper and then try to grab the ledge. They basically shorten that amount of time. Sometimes you will just upper and then Incinerar will just fall through the map like like that. Like you see how he just falls through the map uh, they just, like that. But well, basically, they just shortened that. Before the range was a little worse than that. That doesn't matter too much because generally you're not going to uh, to, to specifically up and then fall into the ledge. That's a very rare situation. I guess maybe if you're grabbing the ledge, maybe you can double jump upper. But even then, you're not fast enough to do that now. So it doesn't really make a, that much of a difference. For downer, I don't think it's a very significant change. And we don't really down it like that too much, unless I guess you want some sort of follow up of the fact that you can't detect this on the ground. I guess that's an option at uh, mid percent, but generally, uh, downer, the downer change doesn't really matter too much. Uh, what we're looking at is up smash, up throw, and the buff recovery. Those are big differences. Like, uh, I've been talking a lot to Mitsuki because Mitsuki insists on the idea of maintenance in the center. And we, we both think um, that the center was probably starting to become a low tier character. And this is mainly because he struggled in pretty much every single important matchup. He was really falling behind in terms of recovery. And it felt like every day people were just figuring him out more simply because the direction of ultimate is fast paced neutral combined with edge guards. And Incinera doesn't have both. And he's very really bad off the level. But the fact that they buffed his recovery gave him a stronger out of shield option. And on top of it all, uh, give him a throw that can kill anywhere. This makes his neutral more threatening and his recovery better. So I actually think that Incinerator is... I don't think he can be low tier with this anymore. I think he's at least mid tier right now, at least. And that's considering... That's without the potential that we can have with a better recovery. I think this makes actually a big deal. I think it's a big difference. So we'll see how uh, Incinerator evolves with the, me with the meta. How he goes forward. I mean, I think these are very positive changes all in all. Um, I think they help the character. I think they make him just a little bit more flexible. And it was just... In the direction that he needed so i think it works out with that said guys thank you so much for watching my video hope you enjoyed make sure to subscribe hit that bell button so you can keep up with all my videos daily uploads and i'll be seeing you guys around in the next video tomorrow thanks for watching you have a wonderful day night afternoon wherever you're watching this and i'll see you guys around